Our cold open song is called Dr. Sleep. Our friend Stephen Cogswell made it. Get it at autfy.com. That's A-W-T-F-Y dot com slash sleep. Hey, guys. I'm just going to say that if you have the means to be sitting on a log smoking a cigar and selected by one of the finest conciliaries of all of Las Vegas sitting next to a campfire, 34 degrees outside, <laughs> highly recommended. You are Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep. Fucking all the mamas while he's grabbing the cheap. Baby, my, my doctor sleep. Doctor sleep. But I did get a book. Fucking all the mamas while he's grabbing the cheap. Got it. Uh, the first cup was dark shit. It's human garbage. Piece of uh, crap. I mean, the real question is how early she started yanking that football away from Charlie yeah, Brown. Yeah, you round headed dick face. Fucking try to hit it now. Hey, man, don't let him get you down. I think you're pretty great. You're such a dick, man. Doctor Sleep. Doctor Sleep. Fucking all the mamas while he's grabbing the jeep. Doctor Sleep. Doctor Sleep. Fucking all the mamas while he's grabbing the jeep. I had to do my ring fit today. Oh, hells yeah, live. From Diamond Club Studios, deep in the heart of the Seven Acres Wood, located right here on Austin City Limits. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my BFF and OAK. It's J R Y Justin Robert Young. All right, Justin, what's the bet? How uh, uh, I know my answer. Um, how much of any of that shit do you remember? Because I remember none of that from last week, <laughs> and so I enjoyed that song very much. Oh no, I because it was my joke. I can't hear the name Dr. Sleep without thinking of the Harmontown rap. Of the Dr. K. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so whenever it's like, because they have these very atmospheric, spooky ads, Ewan McGregor, and he's upside down, and there's a lady, and she's wearing a hat, and it's like, oh, it's The Shining, but it's a new movie, and here's a grocery store, and then it's like, Dr. Sleep, and all I can think of is just, Fucking all the mamas again. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the good news is that movie is so well-reviewed and so beloved that I'm sure it's just going to make a killing at the box office when it eventually comes out. Just going just gonna to really tear up them charts. Whoever's got it in the draft, you got it made in the shade, my friend. I think it's already out. Oh, oh, well, I, I, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the, oh, look, it's well-beloved, 77%, uh, 89%. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, as we know, some of yeah. the biggest blockbusters in all of horror have come from the brilliant mind of Stephen King. So I'm sure it yep. made a lot of money over the weekend. Mm, about I mean, that, Brian. What? Six million dollars. I got 25. <laughs> Six million dollar opening, I guess, I guess what, 25 uh, million as of now? Yeah. Hey man, you want, to, you want to know what was what what, what was a mistake? Hmm. Didn't call it Shining Two. If it's a <laughs> sequel to The Shining, they should have just called it. Hey, do you like The Shining? <laughs> Here's Shining Two. Do you Come like The Shining? Then boy, do I have a Shining to shine for your shine. It's yeah. The Shining Two. You know what? Forget the two. Do you like The Shining? Come see this movie. Don't worry about it. Exactly. But like uh, uh, it's just you said shining and then those two creepy girls like next to it. Yeah. Right. Because they're like two. But then they're both also giving a peace sign. Like so it's <laughs> and like, they're also oh. they're also dancing like a jib jab video. <laughs> so some kind of like hip hop beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so today was a very weird day, Justin. We had yeah. we had uh, two brilliant hackers join us for the Modern Rogue, and and you'll see all of the Modern Rogue stuff when when it comes out. But I just want to skip to the ending. I don't know if you already talked about this in the pre-show, but but uh, 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 Jason Murphy got microchipped with an RFID chip, and. <laughs> He was so excited, and I was like, and we got to the part where he had a chip injected into his body that lives in his body, and then the question came up, well, what do you want it to uh, c to link to? Because we have to take a moment to set it up to link to something. And as if the thought never occurred to him, he's like, oh, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. And so and so using my phone and this NFC writer, I programmed first of all, I screwed it up. I entered in the wrong URL. So yeah. so Jason.exe failed to, to execute because I had put You've in too many colon. HTTPs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I doubled it up. 
So then I had to, I had to reboot or up, I had to update the firmware of JSON.exe, and then I programmed Jason to play Doctor uh, Mr. Roboto when <laughs> any phone got near his uh, implanted microchip. Uh, number one, that's amazing. That <laughs> I can't wait to see this on Modern Road. Yeah, it it uh, <laughs> it's pretty wild to to be upgrading a human. <laughs> uh, but then we also, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you'll you'll see all that stuff on on Modern Road. But anyway, it, it was a big big day. We ended up getting four episodes done. We're hopefully gonna get two more done tomorrow. Oh oh, but but this is it. The best part of the day was the moment that I felt totally validated, totally vindicated, and all of Modern Rogue HQ, uh, all of Diamond Club Studios, all of the second Seven Acre Schwoods was doing exactly what I hoped it would do. So I show, I, I drop Penny off at school uh, around 9.30. I come back, I get here a, a little bit after 10. I, I got delayed, and then uh, and I show up, and, and uh, uh, Jason Murphy's there. I'm like, oh, good, it's Jason. And then there's DV and all of them. Okay, it's good. Uh, 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 there's, uh, 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 hold on, um, uh, Babak Jadari, did I say it right? First half. Oh, damn it. That's correct. Jadari. J- God damn it. No, I, I, I had a beer and everything. Uh, Javadi. Okay, got it. Javadi. Very close. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, here are some top-notch hackers, and and uh, uh, they're they're pulling pranks on me because they're they use the lockpick set. I didn't know there was a lock on the refrigerator, but they use it to lock the refrigerator. And they're like, uh, "Hey man, did we upset? Uh, why why did you lock the refrigerator?" I'm like, "Oh, is the refrigerator locked? Oh my gosh, it is!" And then I realized that that they're messing with me, and we're all laughing, having a good time. And and so I'm like, "Oh my gosh, here we are collaborating with two top-notch, best of breed." Uh, uh, Defcon legend all stars, and then as if uh, as if this is the Mad Magazine that Bart Simpson is visiting in in New York, uh, popping out of the side is recent contributor and friend of the show Andrew Heaton, who who sincerely in a tweed suit and whatever he, he says, uh, I, "Hey guys, I'm I'm really sorry, but um, could could, could you keep it down? I'm interviewing an astronaut." <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, just everything was flash frozen. And it was like, yes, this is right. This is how this place should be forever and ever and ever and ever. So to everybody who's contributed, to everybody who contributes to support all of our endeavors, know that the, the plan is working. Uh, dude, that's awesome. I'm, 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 so, I'm so pumped that this is one of those like confluence weekends where everybody's there. Yeah. So uh, what about you, man? How's your week? Just t- just taking it easy. You're not doing much, are you? You're not you're not like in watching, crunch mode watching, for a giant I've been project. Watching these uh, these farts, man. <laughs> you heard about the farts? <laughs> are you talking about this stuff in the pre-show? <laughs> no, no. I got look. There is a big thing. You know, I cover politics, right? Yeah. Oh wait, I saw that I this was like a trending thing with with farts. This is what? the thing. All right, look. This is a big issue. I need your opinion on it. You're an unbiased observer. You have not seen this clip. Bryce has not seen this clip. Right. Can we just play the clip without any kind of embellishment? Mm-hmm. This is from Hardball with Chris Matthews on MSNBC last night. They're talking to rep- uh, Representative Eric yeah, Swallow. A former, yeah, former presidential candidate. This year, Eric Swalwell. This year? He is a representative from California. He is on the Intelligence Committee, which is currently going through a process about possibly impeaching the president. He's talking about that when this happens. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard from Republicans... (laughs) That is not real. That is not real. That is a natural gap. Hold on. on. Play it again. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we, need, we need a round two on this. Pair yeah. dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard <laughs> that from is not, Okay, first of all, no, to ask- uh, number, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm probably looking at the wrong thing because it looks like the, the, the lips aren't even synced properly. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me see it again watching the other monitor. One more time, yeah. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. No, he stops. That's, that he stops. Taxpayer- <laughs> he I mean, stops. He, he, no, okay, first of all, look, he leans forward. You and I both know that that would be too far off mic to be that clear. This is a case where they, they sort whoa, of stopped. Whoa, 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 whoa. In general, yes. But I will sway you with this because I know you, Brian, have watched enough 
a uh, uh, news 24 hour news television in your lifestyle or uh, in your in your lifetime either by uh, uh, you know happenstance or on purpose that every time they do those stand ups in the 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 capital that's all all marble all around you know distinctively that all the audio is wild echoey like it is it is too, super 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 echoey so the idea that if somebody cuts a stage five cheek flapper. Like I am talking about Beelzebub's blast from his butthole. Like that's going to sound a lot like this. No, you would hear some echo. Look, there's no echo. I bet there's echo on his voice and no echo on his fart. And the complaint that I've heard from Republican taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And See, the complaint that I that, dude, no. no. That, that, how, that's how it would say. I mean, if it, 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 mm. all right, no, you can't have it both ways. Right, I, I, I feel like I'm swaying Bryce over to my side here. We're, we're, we're zabrutering the shit out of this. Now, I know, that, I know that there was a narrative. Before, before we, we go any further, let's cut out some of this. This is exactly what aired on MSNBC. MSNBC and Eric Swalwell have said that this is definitely, they, they know the thing. It has been uh, uh, contacted by... Oh, wait, uh, hold on. This changes yeah. everything. This was actually aired as yeah. is on MSNBC yeah. as live? Uh, probably live. as live, if not live. He says in, a, in an iMessage, it was not me. Ha, huh, I didn't hear it when I was speaking. I def did not hear it. Okay, hold on. And I, I'm going to say, so there was, a, there was a part of the narrative later today that was like, <laughs> oh, well, it was a mug. It was a mug on someone in the studio. Uh, uh, Ah, uh, so first Hardball tweets out this just no context the Spider-Man meme because <laughs> he did not fart. Did and they really? Fart. What a brilliant play on their part! What a great immediate in initial move. <laughs> they delete that tweet uh, and then say, and this is where I can get into some speculation because I guess that if Swalwell's like, what the fuck, man? Like, I come on your show all the time. Like, don't leave me out here as the farter in the meter in the middle of the impeachment investigation. I don't need the president fucking tweeting this clip and saying farter in chief, fucking Eric <laughs> Swalwell. Like, you need to take me off the hook on this farting thing. So Hardball then deletes the Spider-Man tweet and then tweets again saying, sorry, conspiracy theorists. It was just the hardball mug scraping across the deck. Oh, no. That's so much worse. That's so much worse. If they should have so, left it in Schrodinger's uh, 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 Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> but now, let me ask you this, and mm -hmm. I will ask, look, you, you have a lot of folks in there, a lot of very smart people. Uh, uh, play that again and tell me whether or not you believe this sound can emanate from a mug scraping across a desk. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, for the for the studio audience here, we'll do a show of hands so that... Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you believe that that could be a fart. Is seeing a shaking head? <laughs> could, it, could it be a mug? Sorry, Is there could it be any a mug? way this mug? We're, we're, we're eliminating. We're, 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 we're using the mug? scientific method here. We have to eliminate everything that's not possible. We're a getting, could, a be could be mug. Okay, here's the thing. Mug. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A mug sliding across anything this is not, not capable of making the consonant combination sound of P and W and a vowel. You can't go <laughs> like the, like that. That's okay. He's saying it depends upon the surface. Surface and residence. Okay, we got we got. Okay, look. Yes, if if the surface of the hardball desk is Nickelodeon's gack, <laughs> sound. You know what it, it it you know what it sounds like to me, and I know this mug thing is a big thing because that's what hardball is saying. It sounds like a chair being scraped ac across a hard floor. Oh, like you know, it, hear, hey, hear it again. Uh, hear it again. For the rest, to ask the Ukrainians oh, to help them cheat an election. election, and the complaint That's, that sounds like a chair to me. That doesn't sound anything like a chair. It sounds like a chair being scraped. An election. Oh, I was an talking election. over it. An election. What, with Justin? Play it again. I was talking over it. Play it again. Okay. To help them cheat an election. That's a chair. <laughs> okay. That's okay. a wooden right. leg right. of a chair. I have an alternate theory. I have an alternate theory. Wait, I, on, I have an, my my new alternate. 
Two seconds, two seconds. I'm going to destroy fucking Bryce. I'm going to end this man's whole career. Hey. But the wooden leg of a chair mm-hmm. on a fucking television set. Yes. Because it's Mama's family. In Capitol Hill. Set. They, have, they have wooden legged chairs mm-hmm. on the set. Fuck no. They all have rolling chairs because they don't want errant sounds. The mm-hmm. entire context mm-hmm. of a television studio is so sounds are not accidentally made. Mm-hmm. Alternate mm-hmm. theory. I'm going to be a truther for this chair thing, Justin. You can't Fuck. stop the signal. All right, here's, here's one I've not heard yet. Mm-hmm. Full on, the killer was inside the house the whole time. This is an intentional hit piece where this, that dude this is, had this one is... loaded in the chamber, knew like an uncle he would have an opportunity to make his point. Now, go back and listen to it again. Are you telling as me? As if he's trying to punctuate that point with a fart. So imagine this is fully intentional, and he's just trying to let it rip to, to make his point. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. <laughs> he stops and starts at the exact time. That is, that is my current top theory. <laughs> that dude, and he's like, I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to deny it and laugh about it. Ain't nobody going to believe it anyway. <laughs> I mean, like, that probably is. Like, like you know you, that there's, like, those, like, business school, like, power moves, right? Like, where, like, if you walk into a meeting, you hand somebody something. So, like, you are the dominant and they are the submissive. You have to imagine that power farting <laughs> is a thing that happens. It really, oh, my God. I would love it if the next hot new business book <laughs> was called Power Farting. Well, how to dominate the room <laughs> and clear it out. I'm to gonna your Google benefit. Power Farting, and if this is some porn shit, <laughs> I'm finding Pinterest. You, okay, okay, here's the things on Power Farting: Urban Dictionary, hashtag Power Farting on Twitter, and how to impress girls with Power Farting at Pinterest.com. <laughs> So the the horny side of the internet has not quite yet got onto power farting, but uh. yeah. but uh, I mean think about that man. So imagine, like like you're trying to close the deal, right, Brian? Let's say we're talking 10, 15 years down the road. Uh, 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 your uh, modern rogue uh, uh, Diamond Club Studios burgeoned, exploded so much. You're looking to buy Viacom, right? Sure, and then, you know. <laughs> You you walk up and you've been at this for months, secret negotiations, cloak and dagger. You finally get in the room with the powers that be, and you're say, and you walk up and you're like, "Looks like everything's okay. All right, we're about to put pen to paper." And you're like, "I'm going for a hundred thousand dollars less," <laughs> and that's the final offer. And then you fucking cut a minute long Mr. Methane fucking fart right there in the room. What do they do? Nothing. They signed that for the new terms that you just fucking wrote in because you (laughs) imposed your will. I see it used in a different situation. Sort of like, imagine there's a troubled blue chip stock company, you know, your GM or whatever. They're on their fourth CEO this quarter and you come into the room. You have to establish establish dominance immediately. So you're like, hey man, what's going on? And the moment they talk, you just go... (laughs) No, they were like, no, doesn't matter how it's going. Because I think you're right. You'd rather go with that big barking spider than the balloon slowly uh, losing air. So you definitely, you need something where everybody else in the room is like, did he shit himself? And if he <laughs> did, why does he look so confident? And I tell you what, that's the sequel to Power Farting is Power Farting 2. Yeah, that's right. All the way to Mudtown. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said last night about the Swalwell thing is that no matter what, here's one thing that we can all go to sleep knowing for sure. A sitting congressman had to do a safety check in the bathroom of the legislative branch of our government. There's no way that you fucking let loose that fart on fucking camera where you know you're not supposed to do it and you don't say, hey, two seconds, guys. I got to hit the head real quick. And you go two wipes just to make sure that nothing's fucking gotten loose the closest to this being what it actually looks like that i'm willing to go is the dude definitely cut it but thought he was lav mic'd and and thought that it was out of the the cardioid safety zone 
and instead he's being shotgun mic'd and had forgotten that both were being picked up equally. That's that's the closest to this being real that I'm willing to It go. was so loud, though. But I it's think louder on a loud... than him. Like, I, hold on, just one more time. Just, I mean, back into the left, am I right? It's, <laughs> come on. All right, one more time. Here we go. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard from Republicans so, taxpayer I, I, dollars <laughs> to ask the Ukrainians cheap in election he stopped this <laughs> the timing is the most impossible part of it it was right, truly I, live I, i'm gonna ask you to do one thing and this ends the bit i swear this ends the bit look up look it up on youtube okay and then you i because i spent a lot of time watching this clip. <laughs> <laughs> if, just play it at one quarter speed is that what we're gonna do <laughs> are revealed at one quarter speed <laughs> are revealed at one quarter speed because there's one thing look speed of the game it's a bang bang play you can't really tell when you slow her down you know exactly what happened i'm going to bring a finality to this case because once you see it in slow motion you will know for sure that this man may have sharded in the seat of power for the free world. All right, here we go. Listening to it, uh, we go now live to quarter century timeline. Quarter speed. All last week was that. I don't know. Let's do it. Yeah. Hold on, sorry. This this is this is a. It turns out there there are a lot of different clips of this man talking. Dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help. Okay, got it. I got. I there got, you I go. Got. All right, we got this. We got this. I know how to do. This Finally, thing. the truth is <laughs> happening. Finally. Revealed. Revealed. I mean, come on. Come on, he stops and farts. It's not stop and frisk, it's stop and fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and with that cutting political insight, we go now to our Patreon plug. Of course, you can support the show over at patreon.com slash night attack. Right, Justin? Absolutely. Patreon.com slash night attack is where you can make sure that you keep this going. And by the way, today is thank you patrons day. So everybody has been out on Twitter using the hashtag thank you patrons. Uh, uh, I said this on Twitter today. Uh, when I grew up, I wanted to either be a comedian or an archaeologist. And then I realized that uh, uh, archaeologists took uh, work and time and you had to live in a desert for a while. And I didn't like that. Uh, I was never really able to make a living out of being a comedian until you guys came along. And uh, thank you to patron, uh, Patreon for making this a uh, a reality this is my living now and it is because of you and i would like to thank you uh for everybody who goes to patreon.com slash night attack yeah and if you would like to send justin to the badlands of iraq so he could dig up old dinosaur <laughs> vases <laughs> then don't give to Patreon. But if you do give to Patreon, if you're a new patron, or if you up your pledge, then you have a chance to be randomly shouted out in a little thing we like to call... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... <laughs> Man, normally we do a bit with this person's name, but but I realized it's been a minute since we've seen this. Uh, uh, there's a new patron at, uh, at 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 our suggested dollar an episode, and it's a name that we've seen for years. And I don't know if you fell off for a bit, but regardless, I just want to give the biggest, warmest, thank youingest hug to Brian Chandler. Oh, Brian Chandler. Well, you get the you echo, get the and echo, I don't get the, I don't get the, the echo. Do it. Brian Chandler. Brian Chandler. Wrong week to give us a pledge. Brian Chandler. Brian Blame the impeachment, Brian. 
I don't understand your accent. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you so Brian much, Chandler. Chandler. So good to have you. Uh, uh, have you uh, on the Patreon team. And of course, uh, there's one minute per episode that we dedicate to going full on Twitch mode where we shout out everybody who gives us bits and chits uh, over on the Twitch, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, you know, uh, there's a story I'd like to tell you. My friend uh, Sunbun once told me this, Brian. Uh, oh, he said, <coughs> he coughed right before he told me this. He cleared his throat, and then he, and then he farted, <laughs> and then he said, Hondo Tadpool, and I was confused because I thought he was casting a spell, <laughs> and he was yeah, like, but, you know, uh, when, when you're west of Scottish One, that's <laughs> when you really know that stuff's about to go down. Sooth. <laughs> that's, that's what I say when somebody tells the truth. <laughs> a sooth, I guess, like a soothsayer. Well, I spit my hot beverage onto an elderly woman. I was so surprised, <laughs> and boy, was she mad! Yeah, man, she hopped on the crimson zamboni and said, "I'm going to murder you, Justin Robert Young. I'm an old lady and a real bobcat." I mean, you're goddamn right. And when it comes to that, I just have one thing to say, Benito. Boom crash, which is I yelled Benito as I crashed my car. Into it. <laughs> and it went boom. Fan. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> I believe all of that. Hey, uh, uh, hey uh, oh. uh, uh, re real quick, before we get into our game here. Uh, also, there is another way that you can support the entire uh, studio that you guys are out of. Right. With uh, Doghouse Systems. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to pitch this later, but we could do it now. Hey, listen, uh, I told this story on Cord Killers yesterday, but uh, when we had purchased the infrastructure and everything looked like the Fight Club house in here, I called uh, Doghouse Systems to ask them for I, I knew we needed to buy a whole bunch of infrastructure, a whole bunch of editing bays, a whole bunch of uh, stuff to do live switching and all that stuff. And when I told them about what we were up to, they they were and this is this is no BS. They, they were like, this sounds awesome. How about we hop in a car and drive four hours down from our location to check everything out? And sure enough, they, they came on down and they were like, uh, look, all we know is that six years ago, we sponsored like a half dozen episodes on a little show called Game On, and people are still using the promo code today. It's very clear you guys have a very passionate, very engaged fan base. So what we would like to do is provide you a hundred percent of the infrastructure to run everything. We'll provide all the computer, like a half dozen systems are here. They're all doghouse systems. Uh, and they said, all we ask is that you get the promo code out and sooner or later, some of your fans are gonna need to buy computers. As you know, we are top notch when it comes to customer service. We do top notch components. Our stuff is really, really good. And if they use prom uh, promo code, then, then we could do that. <clears throat> so uh, uh, that was, what, six, seven, eight months ago? And uh, we finally got the page up. If you go to uh, uh, doghousesystems.com slash V slash Rogue, and we're working on getting more pages and more promo codes set up, but we're coming up on the holiday time and, and more importantly, the end of the year, and I desperately want to make them feel good about this decision to believe in us when nobody else was believing in us. So if you're buying a system, whether it's a laptop, a desktop, or whatever, go to doghousesystems.com uh, slash V slash Rogue and use promo code Rogue, that's R-O-G-U-E, at checkout. You'll get a free 250 gigabyte SSD drive. Uh, I love all of their stuff. They're amazing. And most importantly, good God, they, 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 they supported us to the tune of five digits worth of, of, of equipment and infrastructure just to get us off the, 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 the ground because they believed, uh, not, not in me, but in you guys. And so uh, let's, let's make them proud to have done that. Hell yeah. Go get yourself a computer, folks. Come on. We all need one. What are you going to do? Make a paper airplane? <laughs> That's not going to give you Gmail. What the hell, you idiot? Get a computer. <laughs> The, the classic what, what, get a computer on, right? marketing lane. Marketing <laughs> get slogan. a computer, you dummy, <laughs> you idiot. Hey, <laughs> That's... hey, hey, dick face, what are you doing? Get a computer. a computer. Hey, chump change. Hey, you piece of garbage. Hey. Your mom called. She says oh. she's disappointed she ever gave birth to you. Why did you get a computer? You trying to work process on well, an well, acorn? Get a computer. Hey, uh, just to let you know, abacuses don't have TikTok. <laughs> they, they only make click clack oh. <laughs> which is uh, a different man, I thought Bonnie couldn't make it here tonight <laughs> alright <laughs> right. 
Just so you know, shit like that almost got me fired once. So fucking <laughs> click clack. <laughs> Completely different type of click clack. Uh, our abacus is illegal now, officer. Excuse me. Yeah, but now it's click clack. <laughs> <laughs> Check the pause. Bryce, what's our game? Hi, we got a game. So our friend, a uh, 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 recent contributor, or, or multiple contributor to Court Killers, courtkillers.com, uh, Meryl Barr sent in an idea for a game, and I did a little remixing, remix culture on it. Uh, you guys know Meryl Barr. He's an entertainment reporter. He knows a lot about the, the right. TV and, and Hollywood. Right. And, uh, Dude, he's got uh, his or, finger on the pulse. He he's, uh, unfortunately, that pulse is on the carteroid artery of Hollywood. He's about to, he's about to uh, uh, cut off oxygen supply to her brain. Yeah, it seems very dangerous. You should not do that, maybe. Um, so uh, you might know that there's a free internet TV service called Pluto. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, it's free. Is that what you were doing? I walked in. Uh -huh. I walked in, and I okay. knew Bryce was supposed to be doing, getting ready to work stuff. <laughs> and I walked in, uh -huh. and I saw Pluto TV open, and I saw in the corner like a fleshy, sexy, dancing girl. Okay. And, and then I saw him <laughs> very guiltily hide that tab. Now, <laughs> so, and so, I so. now realize it was very guiltily so that he wouldn't ruin the game yes. and not because he was up to no good in right. the studio. So apparently there's, it, this is not in the game, but apparently there's a sexy ladies channel that I thought was <laughs> like food porn, but apparently was like porn porn. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I just, I'm seeing the ad. Every time I look, I'm actually seeing an ad for like swim suits i and then I, and then, uh, and then bob <laughs> comes up and, and is like oh what are, what are that and and i look and i finally put two and two together this is just a, a woman in a bikini dancing <laughs> i mean of all the things i expected to walk in on bryce <laughs> doing in the studio watching a, a watching bikini lady ladies and low on the closing list. that tab <laughs> was not one of them <laughs> oh so this so it's a free uh streaming channel it's ad supported uh, and they, so they have like traditional TV programming and some digital channels. And uh, so we're going to play a game uh, that I've called Two Plues and a No. Uh, if you remember, if you know the game Two Truths and a, and a Lie. This is uh, uh, uh No, I, we like always, we, we used to play a game. We used to call it Two Truths and a <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Call back. Yeah, it was truth. <laughs> truth. Uh. There's nothing and, like uh, patronizing <laughs> phrase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play the game. So, uh, so what? So it's going to be you two against me. So I put this, put this game together. So you two are going to play together. We're the truths. You're That's the right. no. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you um, three channels that they have on Pluto. Oh, God damn it! A little bit of description, and you have to tell me which one of the three is not a Pluto channel, a Pluto, if you will. So, for gotcha. example. All right, I'm, I'm with it. So, for example. Uh, we've got Slow TV on number 597. This is a channel of unbroken point-of-view shots of scenic routes, often recorded on trains or cars. Uh, there's Nature Vision TV, number 582. Uh, static shots of nature and natural elements like lakes and mountains and snow and fire. Uh, and AFK TV, number 586. Scenes of population centers, city streets, offices, and more with a bird's eye view. God damn it. So, I thought it would be easier because I knew that the first one was real. But then all three <laughs> of them are equally as dumb as the first one. So you two need to uh, need to come to a consensus between the two of you of which one is the Pluno, the fake channel. So all right. here, and this is the example here, question. Yeah. Uh, 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 Brian, I would say to you, hmm. which of these three buckets has less available file footage that you could get off Pond 5? Mm. Like, if oh. we were searching Pond 5, which of these has oh, less? Oh, uh, I would say AFK TV is going to be the harder one because there's more nature than there are people, uh, populated areas. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm going to say... Something in now, a populated area than it is to get a nature thing because nobody gives a shit because it's nature and it's boring as shit. Yeah, I guess nature vision TV because that kind of did exist. Remember, remember the early days of HD TV where they would do like a, a sunrise? It was an hour long program that was literally just the fucking sun coming up <laughs> in various locations. So I, yeah. I, I'm going to say that now I will say that uh, when you go to the bars, uh, they used to only be called Chive. Now they're called Atmosphere, and Chive is one of the programs. But now Atmosphere is one of their programs is like just drone shots over metropolitan areas. So, but 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 I am going to say that AFK TV is is not real. Justin, you're gonna... yeah, you want to know what I'm with you on that. Also, I don't think it would be called AFK TV. That's my tell. 
to Bryce's writing. Ah, oh, okay. oh, you think you you think you can stand up to Bryce in a way you can't to Mikey? I see. Everyone, I can stand up to fucking Mikey. Don't tell me. <laughs> yeah. <it's insane. laughs> Yeah, I can stand up to Mikey. Bring Mikey in front of me right now. I'll stand up, up to him right now with his quiz. He thinks he's so good. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I'll stand up to anybody I want. I'll, t- I'll sniff out your writing. Does it smell? It smells like AFK TV to me. <laughs> and this, in this example question, you would be... You would be exactly correct. Slow TV and Will- Nature Vision TV are real. Here we go. And the chat room also is going to play. AFK TV is an actual good name. <laughs> That's how I knew that. that Better was the than fake. Nature Vision. Yeah, I mean it's like I mean come on. I'm, I'm glad you made it five seconds into the brainstorming session. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, Nature Vision. Why don't you guys come on? You got to think bigger. Let's call it Darwin's Cream Dream. Yeah. I can. Uh, what was it? Ralph Waldo Emerson. Was he on Walden Pond? Uh, no, he. Uh, Henry David Thoreau. Oh, Thoreau. Yeah. Yeah. Thoreau. Cum rag. By the way, but throws cum rag. So that one might be a tough sell, I think. Kind of. We'll call it Survivor Man's uh, left uh, foundation. <laughs> left foundation. You know the body part we all have, our foundation? Survivor Man's jizz reservoir. <laughs> it, it's a river. <laughs> My upper crawl space is hurting, Doc. I need you to take a look at it. <laughs> All right, so uh, so that was our example, and the chat room is going to play along too. They're going to guess if you guys get it right or wrong. So hey, can, I, okay. can I uh, can I ask you something, Bri- uh, uh, Bryce? Mm-hmm. Can you keep the the uh, the 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 chat stuff until after we select? Sure, just hide it from you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just, yeah, just keep it off screen. Okay, I'll do that uh, right now. All right, so let's go do round one. <laughs> oh, I just realized we're only now starting. <laughs> That's right. That was that was that one was uh, was a, was just an example. Round one. Uh, here are the three channels. No, on channel three twenty four, Law and Order. There's no criminal intent if you sit back and watch these special and non special victim units Dick Wolf down some crime. That's Law and Order number three twenty four. Dick Wolf down some crime. That's right. Uh, option two, Chris Angel's Mind Freak on channel three fifty one. Hey, pick a card anytime you want. Freak no. your mind on your terms. He doesn't. He doesn't have his own channel. Or Midsummer Murders twenty four seven number three seven five. Pop into the never ending investigation work of Detective Chief Inspector Barnaby in this classic British crime drama. Gentlemen, give me the blue now. Wait, there's only two of them. Uh, that's three, actually. I said I actually did say. Oh, three. Law and Order, Chris Angel, My Freak, and Miss Midsummer, Midsummer Murders. Murders uh, okay, look, I'm sorry. I'm too distracted. If, if fucking Chris Angel has. Uh, like we have so much more content on. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, hey, Justin, which of these do you think is is fake? Um. So the question is, because everything has to be done legally, right? This isn't a a pirate's den, right? So there would have to be some deal where they are either owning a piece. So, so uh, 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 Bryce, a point of order here. Sure. Uh, Pluto TV airs ads and then uh, uh, on that programming and then people get a cut, the owners of the channels get a cut of those ads, question mark? Yeah. They, they secure sounds about deal, right. They, we don't know the nature of their deals. They either secure licenses and, and they, revenue participation yeah. or yeah. there's buyouts There are ads or baked into the streams. And I'm sure there's probably some recognition. Okay, I have a theory for you, Justin. Yeah. And and it yeah. involves catching Bryce's slip up. Let's yeah. say Midsummer Murders is real at channel 375, and Law and that Order is real. Would, that would at be the one that, 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 that they're trying to 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 you know like okay, well let's let's give them Midsummer Murders because it's not like me or you are going to be like. Crikey, I love that show on the telly. I used to run up the apples and pears as fast as I could. Me petrol. And then let's also assume that Law and Order is a real channel at 324. That would imply that there's a whole spectrum. Usually those channels are clustered together of like mysteries and crime dramas, in which case Uh, uh, Chris Angel uh, Mind Freak at channel 351 would be very misplaced. Plus, I would love to believe. You're saying that there's. 50 mystery channels between Law and Order and Midsummer Murders? I would say I would like to believe it's more likely than Chris Angel Mind Freak having its own channel on Pluto.tv. All right. Now, Brian. Yes. With you. 
but as your partner, I'm going to ask you this honestly. Is this just magician's <laughs> instinct? It is. That, because, like, if you were to ask me what's more likely to cut a deal with Pluto because they're not currently in massive syndication on major cable networks, I would say Mind Freak is more likely to be on Pluto because Law & Order literally runs on, like, four gigantic cable channels in constant syndication. God damn it. Okay, look, you've talked me off the ledge. You're right. It was naked jealousy talking. I just wanted to believe that he didn't. The fact is he probably does, and I think Midsummer Murders and Mind Freak are real, but Law & Order is fake. I'm with you. All right, so you guys are going to say it's Law and Order? Which one? I'm sorry, yeah, one Law and Order. You can say order, Law and order. Law and order. And also, I think Bryce saying uh, a, a dick wolf down some crime is another <laughs> one of those smell the writing on it. <laughs> All right, your answer of Law and Order is... Is correct! Yay! Congratulations, Chris Angel. I wish you the best. <laughs> That's is right, this so. your theme today? Is just saying mean things and then immediately <laughs> saying, "Hey, <laughs> bye, bye, bro." <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's round two. Here's round two. On channel six ninety six, Minecraft TV. It's mine. Uh, excuse me, Minecraft TV is the only channel to bring you back to back blocks of nothing but Minecraft. Then we have RuneScape Let's Play at six ninety seven. RuneScape Let's Play is the only channel to bring you back-to-back -back blocks of nothing but RuneScape. And option three, Gameplay Roblox at number 698. Gameplay Roblox is the only channel to bring you back-to-back -back blocks of nothing but Roblox. That is such a Bryce move to bring up RuneScape uh, in, in a world where... In a world where both Roblox and Minecraft are still relevant, uh, I think it would be very funny to put RuneScape in there. Uh, I, I don't believe RuneScape is real. Justin, what say you? By the way, in this, Minecraft TV is uh, uh, 696. RuneScape Let's Play is 697. And Gameplay Roblox is 698. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I think that it's it, it, uh, I, I smell the Bryce on RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> this is I Don't love I love me. this idea of taunting the ref <laughs> uh, <laughs> with your with your bull snort. <laughs> so you guys are gonna say number two, RuneScape. Yes. Ooh, yeah. All right. Uh, just under the wire, the chat said that you would get this wrong, but bah, 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 you got it. Oh, 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 oh. Absolutely correct. There we are... wish you the best, RuneScape. <laughs> yeah. We hope you crush it. There is, so, also, there is right. also definitely no channel between Minecraft TV and Roblox, even though they have 96 and 98. <laughs> they're, they're just waiting for the next uh, big block. Bryce, you made a real big point to say mm -hmm. that you remixed this and you were involved in it. So far, we have dominated this game how are you feeling so oh my god you're midway okay you're midway through the field <laughs> and you walk up to the commentators and you take off your helmet and you say like all right gentlemen you're halfway through calling this game so far you've done nothing but eat shit and miss every call how are you feeling about it <laughs> I we have we have we have three or four more very good rounds and i'm okay. very excited i believe to see it where we go. i'm with you uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I, by the way all i do is smell <laughs> Don't sniff me. Please don't sniff me. All right, round three. <laughs> Option one. A Christmas Story 24-7 on channel 103. You'll never shoot your eye out with this all-day Christmas classic marathon. Option two is Fireplace on channel 104. Create a warm holiday atmosphere without the hydrocarbons and smoke inhalation. It's Fireplace. And on channel 105, Holiday Lights. The sights and sounds of Christmas in stunning high definition. Botanical Garden sold separately. I mean, there have been channels that have run Christmas Story 24-7, which yep. makes me think it's affordable and doable. Fireplace, there have been... I mean, I would be more surprised if there was no Yule Log on Pluto TV. Holiday Lights, a little bit mushy on the explanation. Could be Bryce kind of trying to hide. Like, maybe it's a curated list of, you know, everyone's crazy light setup that they're all trying to outdo each other on. And then maybe maybe Bryce is intentionally writing it all vague. 
but I don't think so. I think that one's fake. Holiday lights, you're saying? Yeah. Wait, hold on. It would be a very Bryce move to rely on the fact that we know that a Christmas story has been run 24-7 on some channels. Well, I mean, but but it's been run 24-7 on, like, TBS. Like, on, like, a major cable outlet. Now, it's a very old movie, so at this point it's probably gotten to kind of, like, bargain basement prices, and this probably runs 20, like, 365 days a year and not just, like, at peak times. Oh, the trick is the holiday lights thing, the sights and sounds of Christmas in stunning high definition, it's that stunning high definition that I think trips it. Because uh, if if this was a channel kind of chive style where they were just paying out $100 bounties to every kooky viral holiday light thing, then I'd go for it. But, but the high definition implies intentionality and quality that I don't believe. I mean, it the consensus seems the worst answer, product. Like, I don't know. I mean, I have I have myself put on a fireplace, like, thing that is just, like, a constant fireplace running for a party. I don't think I, I, I don't think I'd ever be like, hey, yeah, these are the best holiday lights. Like, <laughs> All right. So, which, which, which is your pick for the fake one? Mm, my instinct. Don't sniff me. <laughs> so <sniffing> me. <laughs> is Christmas story because really? that costs money in a way that fireplace and holiday lights don't. I'll back your play on that one, man. We're going with Christmas story. You're going to go with a Christmas story. All right. The chat realm uh, with 57% of the vote said that you would not get this one right. The answer that we were looking for, the Pluno of the list was... Christmas story 24-7. Yeah! Magical Christmas. Create a warm holiday atmosphere in your home with this. Yeah, it's of literally it. footage of like driving around towns and seeing the lights. That Man, Pluto up. TV, bringing bring all the hits. That's That's right. Must, I must ignore this TV. Is it, <laughs> this is what it's like to be Wolverine. Like to just have the same. <laughs> like, if, actually, uh, I did know what it was like to be Wolverine until you started sniffing and, and shit talking. Now I know what it's like to be Wolverine Icarus. <laughs> You're up there with wings, way <laughs> close to that motherfucking sun. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys have three points. I currently have. <clears throat> uh, well, I can't really. We're, we're not able to calculate how many I have right now. All right, let's go to round four. <laughs> All right, here are your options. Option one, channel 158, it's Nosy. Nosy is a nonstop daytime talk show channel, so you can also know who is not the father. Boo, boo. Uh, on channel 94, we have Flicks of Fury. Hiya! It's a kung fu channel. And on channel 71, Air Bud Forever. There's nothing in the rule book says a dog can't be on TV all the time. Gentlemen. God Pluto damn. or Pluto? Okay, for, first of all, Airbud Forever being at number 71, prime real estate in the <laughs> Pluto TV lineup is so insane. It's so, it's so klaxons uh, blaringly, obviously not true. But on the flip side, Nosy, I, I don't know that a lot of people would allow their talk shows to be sort of disparaged with with a negative name of a channel, you know, like, uh, uh, but like, but think of the gigantic backlog of Rachel Ray's and Sally, Jesse Raphael's. And like, I mean, these are failures of talk shows go three years. Right. Okay. Also like, so, and, and like now if, if you're going to make money on that at all, you can't be a choosing beggar. If Nosy comes around and says, hey, would all of you involved in this like $100,000 for no money for us to run it for the next, you know, 10 years? Then how you many, say, how, how many Air Bud movies were there? There's Air Bud, Air Bud 2. Uh, there's all the, 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 the puppy ones like uh, Space Buddies. And, and uh, 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 Google uh, says that there are 11. 11? Okay. All right. Look, like, this Air Bud forever. <laughs> Come on. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, hey, Brian. Yeah. 
I back your play. <laughs> that's <laughs> me. Oh man, that's a golden that's a golden retriever sniffer you got right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, by the way, yeah, there's nothing in the rule book that says that Bryce can write good fucking quizzes. Hey, shit! <laughs> God I, damn I it! I had a busy day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your answer of <laughs> fucking whatever. The AirPod channel is correct. AirPod forever. All right, this is the moment. This is the moment that in a prize fight, you realize you've got them on the ropes. <laughs> you now have figured out all their tricks and they're running out of steam. All right, let me at see. This point, at this point, I'm running out of taunts for the audience. <laughs> like, all right, we've got uh, two more rounds here. Two more rounds here. Uh, in this game, we call two blues and a no. Run five. On channel 975, it's what the funk? Grooves and tunes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. That'll make you say, ooh, that's funk. <laughs> On channel 583, it's what in the world 24-7. Discover the hidden mysteries inside our mysterious planet, all without leaving the house. And on channel 122, it's what? Gossip, celebs, vibes, moods, big and small. It's now, it's new. It's what? Man, these are good. I, I'll give you kudos on this one, Bryce. What is appropriately placed at a very early channel number? What the funk is also appropriately placed at a very late channel number. 975 That's usually where all the music is. What yeah. in the world is also correctly placed around where you would find mid Tier cable, so, you know, you would yeah, find your right. history alien so, sh shit. Like, yeah, what the funk music, right? Like any other music channel, this is just taking, you know, whatever available licenses that are at this point at a scalable uh, uh, price point and running them back to back. What in the world would be all just the nature documentaries? But then, really, the question that I have, and I'm going to let you know, Brian, I don't have a very good. I don't have a very good uh, 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 instinct on this Hold one. On. You're saying your sniffer ain't that good? I, I no, got that's... I got a hunch. I got a hunch, but I, it's not a strong one. What are you? What are you? What are you? Looking glass from the recent episode of Watchmen? What's going on here? I don't know what that means. Yeah, if only I can make fucking stupid decisions the entire episode, and then <laughs> what? All right, <laughs> one more episode. One more episode. One more episode. Um. The only question that I have about what, and it, this is my uh, uh, unfamiliarity with the Pluto platform, is if there is any original content or if it is just the hive for a world in which there is too much content or at least enough just turnkey content that you could make your own channel. Because this seems like something that is either new or aggregating new stuff. I would say that Bryce sat down and went to the Pluto channel guide and typed in the word what and saw two things show up. And I think those two things were what in the world, 24-7, number 583, and what, number 122. And he was like, oh, what's a third thing that could have the word what? And he was like, what the funk? I'll bet they think there's music on Pluto while secretly I know there's not. Oh. See, this is a, this is a different tact. Because normally I try to look at what Bryce would write, and you are are, and this is you'd have more of a read on this because you know what Bryce is like. Well, and keep in mind he's also rewriting all of these, even the ones that are real. Yeah, all the descriptions yeah. are original copy from Bryce Castillo, copyright twenty nineteen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I TM, know. TM. I can still smell the fake one. Don't sniff all right, me. All right, come on, come on, give, give him the sniff. Come on, you can do it. Sniff this. Sniff this. Brian. Sniff this. Sniff this. I'm Ugh. only going to get this one sniff. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I'll back your play on what the funk. Okay. So you're, you're smelling that funk. Yeah. All right. So your answer is going to be what the fuck? A uh, funk? <laughs> on nine, seven, <laughs> your answer is going to be funk you. It's going to be funk you very much. Uh, the chat realm, with 80% uh, of the votes, said that the boys would not get it right. The answer that we were looking for, the Pluto, was... What in the world, 24-7? Oh, damn it! I don't know what what in the world is. It is uh, 
One thing I just made up. Wait, hold on. Uh, what is the cake boss? That's not a gossip show. Cake boss is on there. Hey, he got arrested. <laughs> Wait, what? He got arrested. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, these are the conversations that. What? I guess you're right. That's right. <laughs> you can't argue with it. So that's a point for me and the second point for the chat round. All right. Congratulations. All right. It's our final round. This is a little bit of a speed round here. Uh, I'm going to say the name of a channel from a content mill and its channel number. Uh, we're going to go back and forth, starting with Brian. You only got like five seconds to guess whether Ready? it's a Pluto or a Pluno. Uh, if you get it correct, you will get a point. If you get it incorrect, I will get a point. So it's still mm, mm, maybe my game. I still may have a chance on this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Brian, we're going to start with you. All right, you ready? Yep. It's going to be fast. <laughs> Brian, on channel 443, The Onion, is this real or fake? Fake. It's real. That's a point for me. Justin, on channel 440, Viral Hog, 24-7. Fake. You're going to say fake. It is fake. Good point. All right. Brian on channel 441, Fail Army. That's real. Uh, Fail Army is real. Uh, Justin on channel 448, Fail TV. Real. Ooh, it's fake. That's a point for me. Uh, Brian, channel 423, Funny AF. Real. That one is real. Good point. Uh, Justin 431, Lad Bible. Real. Ooh, that one's fake. That's a fake one. Got you. J uh, Brian, channel 439, Internet Gold. Real. That one is real. All right, uh, a few more here. Uh, Justin, channel 428, Chive TV. Real. Oh, that one's fake. It's not on the service. They're, they're, they're too valuable to be on Pluto. Do it, uh, Brian. Number channel four four two, Jukin TV. <laughs> sure, yeah, we'll say real. Oh, that one's fake. Oh, dog got it. And Justin oh, taking Jukin. us home, taking Jukin. us home with channel five ninety one, THC. Real. That one is real. Oh man, Good who won? I have no that. idea who came out ahead. I don't know either. I have Whoever it is, I bet they're up. awesome. All right, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Uh, Brian. Oh wait, no, Brian and Justin are the winners. Hey, we both won. We're all equally great, except for Bryce, who's less great than the other two of us. But he worked really hard today, so let's cut him a break. <laughs> 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 it ended up being close. I ended up getting one. Uh, uh, well, no, it was not that close. I got six points. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <Drew. laughs> I'm so tired. He's like, guy, he was like, well, I did make it all the way to the Olympics, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was looking at porn in the office. <laughs> if you have an idea for the game, send it into mail at nightattack.tv. M A I L at nightattack. I want someone to clip out Bryce just saying, I'm so tired. And then upload that to YouTube. And then, Bryce, you need to get a microchip so anybody can put their phone by your hand. Mail at nightattack.tv. That's where you can send in games like Merrill did. Uh, he sent in the bones of a game, which uh, we tweaked here a little bit. Thank you yes. so much, Merrill. Uh, and if you have an email, you can also send it to mail at nightattack.tv. We will read your emails near the end of the show, which is not what this is. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, right now is a little thing we like to call Diamond Time. Diamond Time's the portion of the show where we shout out your projects. If you head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com, you'll see a big old fat sticky post right up at the top. The top three of the upvoted uh, items get read out right here live on the show. Indeed. The Jen says, hey, Diamond Club fam, I am moving to Las Vegas for better prospects and had it all under control, but then my car battery died, among other things. So I'm here asking for help if you can spare or if nothing else, please share YOLO420.com slash The Jen. The Jen. Uh, uh, race. Wait, let, me, let me also just real quick say The Jen, a, uh, a contestant on this season of America's Next Top Podcaster. Uh, who just got eliminated, and uh, it was an emotional moment. If you've never listened to an episode of America's Next Top Podcaster, 
listen to that judging episode because you know me. You you most likely know the Jen because she's been a Diamond Club member for as as long as uh, uh, we have been around. So uh, 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 support her and anything else that she's done. But that was that was a moment, man. That was that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do on that show. She uh she says uh, you are totally forgiven. Just kidding. What she says in the chat right now is that it was emotionally traumatizing. Racer nine five one Y writes in saying I don't have one for myself, but thought Brian and Justin would like to see this if they have not already. www.freemagictricks for you the numeral four uh, dot com. Uh, from an imager post they did. Quote, my friend and I teach magic tricks to sick kids for free. We also put some stuff online for others to learn. We love to see the look of faces of chick, uh, sick children when that, some of these tricks are done. We, th we then give them the power to wow their friends. Just a little something special to give them hope. Thought I'd start sharing some fast tutorials here on the wonderful world of imager. We'll upload more if requested. I was actually reading this. I didn't get, didn't get to see it. What, uh, what, what did I miss? Uh, so they do uh, a sort of card and dollar bill cut sort of effect, and then they show off the that you glue it, and you, uh, and then you do kind of a, an effect like that. Yeah. Right on. Very cool. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, Brian, have you written out your your ethos on on teaching magic? I, I seem to remember. No, that it, I mean, I I worked it out in spoken form. If you do a search for on the ethics of teaching magic on YouTube, you'll find a video that is not doesn't have a lot of views uh, because it's thoughtful and sincere and doesn't start with someone getting kicked in the nuts. Uh, but it, uh, it, it it is a fairly accurate framework of how we've been working from Scam School and Scam Nation for the last 10 years. Hello, the internet, I, Brian. There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's me. So I would I would say to uh, uh, Racer that if you have not seen that video, watch that video. Like that is probably, as somebody who has been around the magic and internet on all different mediums of it uh, for a very long time, that is the most thorough uh, uh, explanation of the ethics of, of of what you should do. And as you are making your way into this journey, trust me, magic is a provincial fucked up place where people can have really sharp elbows for very little reason. Do yourself a favor. Learn that shit like the Bible and let it protect you. Uh, Bill Meeks writes, uh, hey, Diamond Club. I'm putting together a free guide on best practices for starting up a fan cast, a podcast based around a particular show, movie, or fandom. As part of it, I'm looking to hear from other creators about their best practices. If you can take five to ten minutes and fill out the survey, it's at yolo420.com slash podcast survey. That would be awesome. Hells yeah, man. Dude, uh, uh, Diamond Club All-Star, Bill Meeks. Uh, absolutely. Diamond Times where you can shout out your project. Just head on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. Shall we uh, take a little break and check out the movie draft minute? Indeed, good sir. Uh, Roberto's had some technical difficulties, so I'm going to fill in for him. And I'm gonna uh, try to uh, do it very well this, this week. This is your movie draft minute from me, Roberto Villegas. What's that? Chip tunes in the background. That's Dateline right. 2019. We're doing the movie draft. At the bottom is Jenny Josephson with zero dollars. Oh. Brett Ronsonville slightly behind, but also tied at with zero dollars. Both of them waiting for their first movie. Number four is John Teasdale coming around the bend. John Teasdale with a big floppy horse dog <laughs> and a, okay, a so. wild-eyed look in his eye. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. John Teasdale with the blood of his enemy. He's staining his teeth. It's John Teasdale at number four. <laughs> Coming in at number three. Good God, I can't believe it. Spiky hair is back. His eyes are aflame and his fists are a fury. It's Brian Brushwood with $138 million. Gemini man, Gemini man. He keeps on shouting. No one can stop him. Oh dear God, he just punched an old lady. And by, in front of him is movie lead Mike with $198 million. And in number one, sporting a magic majestic beard and a toga that extends to the stars. The horse has a toga? <laughs> the resplendent joy. <laughs> I pledge my life to you, Tom Merritt. Joker made a lot of money. And that's your Movie Draft Minute, brought to you by CosmicRadio.tv. Thank you, Roberto. Wow. 
that uh, something was going on with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't normally bring all that energy. I was really excited you know, to talk about there. horse dicks as much. You bring like a singular <laughs> metaphor of everybody showing up with crazed eyes, looking to rip each other apart in different outfits. That usually doesn't happen either. Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, man, that Roberto Villegas, he's really fired up over something. <laughs> Hey, what do you say we open it up the Diamond Club, huh, Bryce? <laughs> yes, let's. Uh, ooh, let's. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why did I immediately go to try and fluff you? Or and you were doing really well too for the for the people still waiting for the. Let's open up the the, 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 the thing. <laughs> you missed the, the combo. Diamond Club. The diamond Club. Mm, that sounds grand. Super grand. This is the part of the show where we read your emails to mail at nightattack.tv. <laughs> For the record, it was the combo of he's got a big floppy horse dog and the blood of his enemies staining his teeth. Uh huh. That's right. <laughs> the hell oh, oh man. man. <sighs> so we have an email here from Will. Uh, it says, shout out. Hey, guys, I just wanted to say that I'm proud of you. Last week was the first week since the new studio that, since, that no one said the C word. So just to be sure, cunt. Oh, damn it, Will. Uh, that is all. Thank you, Will. Uh, we also got an email here, a question from uh, uh, John. John asks, Justin, did Justin get that $150 TV, though? What? No. So I was on the Friday hype train last mm. Friday, and TV Zegon uh, hit me up with a an amazing story, too good to be true, uh, that he found on Slick Deals. Brian, you ever fuck around on SlickDeals.com? Man, I walked in once. I caught Bryce on Slick Deals. He closed that tab so fast, it was crazy. Which is weird, because normally I'm part of the Retail Price Alliance, and so... <laughs> I'm, I'm usually a considered. I usually the a, RPA. Yeah, that's right. I usually pay yeah. a little bit more for the oh. for the trouble. R uh, RPA all day. <laughs> so TBZ Gun said that uh, he found uh, through whatever means that at Walmart they were blowing out the old 65 inch 4K TVs uh, for a hundred and fifty dollars. Jiminy like friends. this is a, a a model that would normally go for over a thousand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that the the idea is that they they would likely only have a display model, but you could buy it if you asked to buy it. Uh, and so during the Friday hype train, I found that my closest Walmart, which is about seven miles away, indeed had one. According to whatever site that they have scraping the Walmart inventory. They had one of them available, uh, so I drove down there, but it was not to be. They had no displays uh, of that model, and uh, that was that. There we go. Uh, and we have one last question from Bobcat. Bobcat writes, if you had to pick one, would you rather be a vampire, a werewolf, or a mummy? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, okay, mummy gets to live forever, pretty yeah. much. That's but right. ain't nobody wants to make out with you. True. Uh, werewolf... We Never, we never got to fuckable mummies. Like back when in the in the aughts, in the Twilight like world, where ever I mean, vampires always been fuckable, right? right? Very uh, fuckable. Uh, Not for but monsters. also, I think in recent years, werewolves have become increasingly more fuckable. All right, I've got I've got a fun game for you. Oh, please! I'm going to Pornhub.com. Okay. And I'm oh, going to type good. in the word mummy. You uh, tell me how many results there are. I'm going to say. 2,000 results. Justin? Well, no, no, hold on. No, no, no. First search for vampire, just so I have a gauge. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vampire. Vampire gets. Vampire. This is good. This is journalism. Um, 882. 882. Vampire. Stop. Oh, Jesus. Werewolf. All right, so. Gets. I'm going to say werewolf is probably 600. Justin, you got to you gotta guess? Three. <laughs> 484. Okay. I think I was closer okay. on that one. And then mummy. So now, now keep in mind, here's here's the multiplier. Oh, the British. That's right. The Brits. The Britty Milf Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. That might be more than fucking vampire with yeah. the way that people like to fuck their moms on Pornhub these days. I'm going to say 1,500. Ooh. Juice. 
So wait, you're saying more than vampire? You're saying it well, almost. But keep well, in mind, it, there's the if, British meaning of the, there's British mum. Mum. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, here, yeah. if you want a baseline, I'll put mommy in here. Please. <laughs> yeah, put mommy into Pornhub. How mm -hmm. much fucking comes back? Six thousand six hundred and sixty-three. <laughs> okay, and so that's a lot, right? And and there's definitely that's what a uh, uh, four times. <laughs> People in England, what are there? Four or five hundred? I would love to believe that some hacker has like infiltrated our network and is watching <laughs> me search this, like, what the fuck is this guy into? <laughs> Vampires, There's definitely one smiling werewolves. right behind my shoulder with a laptop. So. Mummies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in fifteen hundred. Oof, what do you say? I'm saying? going seven hundred and sixty-nine. The closest. Within 108 is Justin Robert Young, 661. Apparently, very few British mummies. Weird. And and I will say that that the very the first video that comes back, definitely the thumbnail depicts a mummy taking somebody from behind. Oh, <laughs> oh fun! That's a fun. So if you if you're looking for that, boy, do I have a place for this you. This is Pornhub. To be fair, yeah. to be fair, Brian, it was a graveyard smash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Bob Cannon. If you want to send in a mail for this portion of the show, re send it to mail m a i l at night attack. Dot TV, and we'll read it here at the end of the show, which is what this is. Oh, goodness, Justin. Uh, what, a, what a journey we've been on, my friend. Oh, yeah, well, you know, uh, we, we, we got to the bottom of a political controversy. Yep, we, uh, we definitely uh, uh, just, just crushed poor Bryce at a game that he tried real hard on. Poor guy, real tired. Uh, yeah, we showed that I have a very keen sense of smell. <laughs> uh, we also learned that, that uh, wow, what a journey from mummies to vampires to horse dogs to the blood of enemies stained on the teeth. Uh, thank you guys for being part of this weird, wacky, and wild journey. We will see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. The bit boss. The, the bit boss is. Yeah, our, our bit boss is J.V. Allen with uh, nine or J.V. Allen 93 with, uh, yeah, over a thousand. Thank you so much. Hells yeah. Thank you so much, J. Van Allen. Every time you go, I get so sad that I want to drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack, 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 I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>